the bathroom is mostly gutted out. There's a few lingering items that need to be taken care of, and I think I'm ready to proceed to the next steps. So what I need to do is get the framing that's remaining on the ceiling, I need to get those down. Uh, in order to do that, I need to get these wires out of the center of that framing and my oscillating tool, I need new blades. So I'll go to the store later tonight and get blades for that and cut that out and then I can rip those down. We're gonna do a different layout with the sink and with the tub. I think we're gonna do the tub here on the lengthwise side and we're gonna do the sink probably over there. So the rough and plumbing will have to be changed, but I don't think I need to pause on drywall to have that happen. I just need to know where I'm gonna be putting lights. I think we're doing canned lights in here. I need to do a little bit more research on where we're gonna do the light switches and how I'm gonna do all that. So I'm not gonna tackle that today. That'll be another day. I think what I'm gonna do now is a little bit of framing. So this used to be the closet to uh, one of the bedrooms. We're shrinking the closet in order to get more space for the bathroom here. And this little uh, open area here, I need to frame it in so that way drywall can go up in this corner here. I can get that accomplished without having to go to the store and purchase anything. And then I'll probably do a walk around and make a checklist of everything I need to do in order to get ready for drywall. And the reason I'm focusing on drywall is because, like I mentioned, our kids are coming at the end of this month for a week and it would be nice to have drywall and insulation in place. It doesn't need to be mudded and taped and all that stuff. I just want it in place, give them a little bit more privacy in the different rooms and you know, it'll just be nicer for them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on putting that framing in and then we'll kind of tackle the next steps together. Thank you. 
I got the wall in. Uh, yep, yeah, I got this wall in. Uh, today, it's just another one of those days where it's just like, just, just don't try to work. It's just, it's just not happening. So I'm not going to continue any work today. I'm going to do a walkthrough of the rooms, make a list of what I need to do to get ready for drywall. So in here, need to finish electrical. Uh, like I mentioned, get the stuff off the ceiling. Um, get a new light, new fan, or new lights. And, and then I think that's it for this room. Let's go into, all right, in the hallway here, um, I need to frame up this door. Okay, I need to take out the bottom plate out of the doorway here. And I think that's it for the hallway. Now the bedroom, bedroom number, new bedroom number one, lighting for the ceiling. So I need a light switch on the walls. Oh yeah, I need to frame out the top portion here because we're gonna have a slider uh, barn door. I need to frame that out, okay? And then I need to put a one or two outlets on the wall here, all right? Uh, bedroom number two, same thing. I need to wire it for uh, lights in the ceiling, put receptacles on the wall here, and I think that's it for the drywall on that wall. Bathroom, what do I need to do in the bathroom here? Um, we got lighting already, plumbing's done, I need to do, I need to do rough-in plumbing for the shower area here, so I need to know which shower tub combo Katie is getting so I can get that roughed in. And then add insulation on the exterior wall, I think we'll be good for adding drywall. Kitchen, 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 so, so we got lighting already. I uh, guess I need to determine, Katie and I need to determine if that door is coming out or if that door is staying. If it is coming out, take it out and frame it. Frame in the areas here that need to be fixed. Uh, and then also determine where we're putting the refrigerator so I can rough in the plumbing for the refrigerator and electrical for the refrigerator. Okay, I think that's it there. And then there's no new drywall going in the library. That should be it. Okay, let's go take a peek at what Katie's doing. Because she's making the outside look really pretty. All right, well, the deck is looking pretty. Um, it's gonna look really nice when it's done. So I think that's gonna end today's vlog, probably a little shorter than usual, but today's just not working. And so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna push it. So we will see you on the next one where we get a lot more work done. Hope to see you there.